Good afternoon, I'm Brent Wilsey. With me is Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management, and welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, today we're talking about, uh-oh, Americans haven't saved much, not much at all. Look at this number here. 66 million Americans have no emergency dollars saved at all. And worse than that is 28% have uh, uh, six months of expenses. So I wonder, what's the other 72% doing? It's a great question. It, it is really, really scary when you take a look at these numbers. What, what are these people expecting to happen? Just free money fall out of the sky, maybe? I, I don't know where the <laughs> helicopter money coming out. I guess. I guess but it, I mean, it, it gets worse if you look at these numbers. 33% of those aged 36 to 51 have saved nothing. That's wow. zero, zada, zilch, nothing. <laughs> and then this looks better, but if you look at the numbers closely, it's really not. 27%, 18 and over have zero saved. The reason I say it's not better is because this includes a much larger base, those people that are over 51. It's really scary when you think about 27%. That's more than a quarter of the population have not saved anything. Scary numbers. Hopefully you're not in that category. All right, let's talk about the company today, which is a Barnes & Noble. The, they sell books and so forth. That's why the BKS. We can see, gosh, back uh, five years ago, back in August here, it was, what, uh, over 18, went way down. That's come back a little bit to about $12.66, 52-week uh, high, 19 low, 7.25. Let's take a look at the numbers on Barnes & Noble. Uh, their sales, no surprise here, down 3.1%. We know books are kind of slowing down and so forth. But earnings, a major hit here, down 73.3%. Now, look at the balance sheet. You'll look at saying, well, gee, the current ratio is 0.99. Not too bad, but understand what's called the quick ratio, which is just cash. and takes out inventory of those books. That's 0.2, so not a very good quick ratio because those uh, books on the inventory would not be able to be sold very much. Debt not too bad though, 7.8%. So I don't know, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable with this company. Yeah, on the surface though, this looks pretty good. A uh, dividend yield of 4.8%, but very important, don't chase this company, company for the high dividend yield because look at this, payout ratio, crazy, 1,200%. <laughs> they pay out. <laughs> They, they use 1,200% of their earnings to pay out this dividend. Uh, that cannot be sustainable, yeah, exactly. especially when you look closer at the balance sheet. And we actually couldn't find uh, analysts that were following the EPS on a gap basis for this company. So what we did is kind of take a look at their cash flow. As you can see, cash from operations for 2016 were 114 million. That looks okay. But again, big, big symbol here. This means delta of cash, change in cash is probably a more familiar term. And their net change in cash was they lost 60 million on their balance sheet. They now have 13.8 million in cash on the balance sheet and used $50 million last year to pay out those dividends. That just does not sound sustainable. Something's gonna happen here pretty soon. And, and thanks for teaching us the financial term of the Delta. Uh, so y'all <laughs> learned something new today, I, I hope. So, all right, so let me ask you, uh, maybe confused on investing. Maybe you just don't know what to do. Well, here at Wilson Asset Management, we do give you free consultations. We give free portfolio reviews here uh, for people. Yeah, if you're interested in one of those refu reviews, feel free to give us a call at 858-546-4306. And if you've missed any previous Smart Investing Daily Briefings, Go to our website, smartinvesting2000.com.